Hello and welcome to Dr. Nora's clinic. Today I'll be talking you through everything you need to know about type 1 diabetes from what it is, what the symptoms are and how best to manage it. First up, let's talk about sugar. It is everywhere. With this popular sweet taste, sugar can be found in foods, drinks and even medicines. Now normally, when you eat sugar in your diet, your body produces something called insulin. Insulin helps to convert sugar into energy. The problem, however, as you probably know, is if you have too much sugar in your body, it gets converted into energy for you to utilize, but if you don't use that energy up, it gets stored as fat. Type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune disease. Now that means your immune system, which usually helps to fight off bacteria and diseases, incorrectly targets your insulin producing cells. Now, what does that mean for a type 1 diabetic? Well, instead of being able to convert that sugar into energy, the sugar passes straight through their body and makes them feel quite tired, maybe lose weight, and more severely causing organ damage. We don't quite know what causes type 1 diabetes, but we do know that it has a strong genetic element, and that means that it can run through families. Although there is no cure for type 1 diabetes at present, type 1 diabetics will be managed using insulin injections that they administer themselves on a regular basis. Type 1 diabetes is usually diagnosed under the age of 30, and it accounts for about 10% of all cases of diabetes. But Dr. Nora, what are the symptoms of type 1 diabetes? Well, there are a number of different symptoms, but the commonest are passing water more regularly. The average person will go to the toilet to pass urine about four to seven times in 24 hours. In type 1 diabetics, because they have too much sugar in their blood, it passes straight through them so they go more frequently. This can lead them to feel quite thirsty, especially having a dry mouth. Type 1 diabetics can also feel quite tired and always hungry because they're not able to store their energy. It can also make them lose weight as well. They may also suffer from lots of skin infections such as recurrent boils and they may also have blurred vision. Now this is because the sugar that's running through your vessels can cause damage to the small vessels inside your organs including your eyes. In fact, did you know that diabetes is the leading cause of reversible blindness in Australia? It is really important that if you do suffer from any of these symptoms or you are concerned that you must speak to your medical doctor for a checkup and a blood test. Okay, so now we've covered the symptoms, it's time to talk about how to best manage it. If you're diagnosed with type 1 diabetes, your doctor or diabetes educator will talk you through the ideal treatment for yourself. Type 1 diabetics will need insulin, which is given by injections into the body. You'll also be asked to check your blood sugar levels on a regular basis at home. Now, it's important to check your blood sugar levels at home because one, it helps you to improve your confidence in your diabetes and two, it also gives you an idea as to what your sugar levels are doing and whether you need more insulin or whether you're having too much insulin. It also allows you to keep a record of your sugar levels so you can take it back to your doctor or diabetes educator to make sure that you're on the correct medication. Okay, now we know that we need to check our sugar levels, how do we do it? Let's take a look. So now that you've successfully checked your sugar levels, what do the numbers mean? Well, your diabetes educator or doctor will usually tell you a target range for you specifically. Roughly speaking, your sugar levels should be between 4 and 6 millimoles per litre before a meal and under 10 millimoles a litre two hours after starting a meal. But Dr. Nora, my numbers are higher than that, or they're not what I'm expecting. Well, there are a number of reasons why your sugar levels may be different to what you're expecting. They include being on a different medication, having the incorrect dose of your medication, feeling unwell, if you've had a heavy meal, or even if you're suffering from emotional stress. It's vital that you see your doctor if your levels are consistently out of sync. To help keep track of your sugar levels, your doctor will usually perform a blood test called HbA1c. This helps to look at your blood sugar level control over the last three months. That will then allow you and your doctor to decide if you're on the right medication or whether things need changing around a little bit. It's very important that your sugar levels are kept within a good range to avoid any long-term complications in the future. Did you know that diabetics are four times more likely to develop heart problems such as heart attacks and strokes? That's quite shocking, so you can see it's super important to keep your sugar levels well within your good ranges. Diabetics are also at increased risk of developing kidney problems later on in life and they may require kidney dialysis. 
Diabetics are also at an increased risk of developing ulcers. Now these can be lesions on your skin which are very hard to treat over a long period of time. Your doctor will also offer you an annual screening test for your eyes and this helps look at the back of the eyes to make sure there's no small vessel damage to help to prevent anything like blindness later on in the future. The most important point to take away from today's video is to ensure that your sugar levels are kept well within their normal target range. That will help to avoid any long-term complications and risks. If you have type 1 diabetes, it's vital to maintain a healthy and balanced lifestyle, and that means eating a good, healthy, balanced diet and undergoing regular exercise. If you do have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to drop me a line in the comment section below. And be sure to hit that subscribe button for tomorrow's episode and this week's special of Diabetes Awareness Week. But for now, take care and stay healthy.